Hey, what's up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to my glorious Bannerman. So you guys seem to really, really enjoy the 200 Colex Sun Eaters versus 200 Cole Franz video. So I thought, why the hell not do another version? Today we're going to have 200 Sigvolt versus 200 Archeon, the Ever Chosen. Where the hell he is? I guess we haven't started the battle yet, so we can't even see that. But yeah, he's over there and he looks pretty, pretty intimidating. So let's go ahead and just start the battle. Um, and by the looks of it, the balance of power is hugely in Archeon's favor. Where even is Archeon? Oh, I don't think we can see him yet. So we'll go ahead and advance on top of this hill, and this will hopefully go ahead and allow us to view him because he looks 200 of Archeon. I would not like to face. I think I'd, I'd rather face the 200 Colex, if I'm honest, because Archeon looks very, very, very intimidating, and we'll obviously see that. He's just come into, into view right now. And, I mean, he doesn't look too intimidating from a distance, but when you get close and he pops on his fire, like, that, that is scary as hell. So yeah, we're going to be having 200 Sigvolts versus 200 Archeons. And the balance of power is hugely, if you guys aren't blinded by that, in the favor of Archeon. Like, he has a huge advantage, apparently, on the balance of power. But we'll go and charge in. We'll go and pop our abilities. And we'll slow-mo it. And obviously, we'll get a nice cinematic shot of this charge. Um, so yeah, go ahead and pause the video right now and tell me who you think's, you're, who thinks is going to win this engagement. I'm going to say that Archeon is going to win. However, I want Sigvold to win. Because Sigvold is by far my favorite uh favoritist chaos lord for sure i think sigvold is just awesome he just, he's just his entire just entire character i think is just really really cool for sure but yeah i think i think archeon's gonna win obviously one because of balance of power and two just because you know he gets to use magic you can actually already see look at all the, the magic he's popped on himself already flaming sword uh cascading fire cloak like that's just a lot of which uh sigvold doesn't actually have so just go ahead and click play and just watch this this battle unfold basically. Um, also, if you're if you're interested in how I'm actually doing uh, zooming in this close to the units, I'm using a, a mod. It's just called Zoom In and Out mod, which you can go ahead and get from the Steam Workshop. Just go ahead and just search for it. Just like camera zoom in mod, and I'm sure it, sure it will come up for you guys. As well as that, I'm going to be a double uploading today, so make sure to go and check out my, I think, part 6 of my Dwarven campaign. There'll be a link in the description of this video, so feel free to go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's actually a really, really interesting episode today. Uh, it's a very, very, yeah, as I said, interesting. I don't want to give away too much, um, but yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out. God, Archeon just looks so scary. Like, look at the flames just coming off of his just sword, his feet. Like, he's just treading fire. But then again, just look how awesome Sigvolt looks in his armor. Sigvolt is just a monster. He really is. I absolutely love him. I'm going to have to definitely uh, do a Chaos campaign, maybe on stream one day, where we go ahead and play as Sigvolt. Because he is a beast. So you can see, I'm pretty sure if we look, uh, from if we zoom out, you can see the magic as well that Archeon is just popping on all his units and it's really going to be paying dividends. If we just get a nice zoom in here. We can see that no one's really dropping right now. I mean, but yeah, I don't think there's actually any dead bodies. If we go ahead and uh, press K, yeah, there's 200. Yeah, everyone's just up to full strength right now. By the looks of it, uh, Archeon is slowly edging ahead of this engagement. He's doing like HP damage, but not many of them are actually dropping yet. And how this mod works as well is that each each unit still has one general in it. So like there's still like the, the OG, the original Archeon and the original Sigvolt. So if, you know, one of the units get a lucky kill, you know, Sigvolt could still, even though he's starting to lose his battle, he could definitely turn it in his favor, you know. If they happen to kill the, the true Archeon, as it were, first, you know, that's going to be hugely a huge morale deficit for the enemy. And the Sigvolts are putting up a good fight for sure, even though they are starting starting to get cut down. You know, I'm pretty confident that uh, Sigvolt will put up a good fight. And look at that awesome charge as well. I love these little pocket like battles which happen, just like you know, like on the flanks of the engagement. Like a few Sigvolts and a few like Archeons always just kind of go off into the distance. And by the looks of it, by the looks of it, yeah, Sigvolt was actually victorious in that little engagement. I guess it was two v one and all. Um, and that's really funny as well. When Archeon dies, his like flames go out. It's kind of like a Charmander, but I guess a much, much scarier Charmander. A much, much scarier Charmander. Let's go and get some uh, views from the uh, from the back of like a couple ranks back of Sigvolt and see how it looks. I think it looks pretty awesome. I love the capes as well. I think every legendary lord has like an epic cape, apart from like Kolek. 
because imagine trying to get a, a cape for Kolek, it'd be pretty hard. I think everyone else has a like, really, really cool looking cape. Especially Cole Franz's cape, that looked awesome. And then we got Archeon from the back here. So this is like a proper battle. This is completely different to the Cole Franz battle. Because in the Cole Franz vs. Kolek battle, they were dropping like flies, like from the get go, like almost instantly, they were killing each other. Whereas this one, it's kind of just a massive like HP off. There's not really too many deaths at the moment. I mean, if we go ahead and have a look, uh, if we go ahead and press K and have a look, there's still, yeah, there's only, they've only lost like seven Sig Volts and what, like, um, how many Archeons? If we can zoom in on them, how many Archeons have fallen? Yeah, only two Archeons have actually fallen. So it's actually like a, a completely different battle, which is really interesting. And I wonder how the like offensive magic works, like fireballs with this. I guess we should have really played with Archeon and find, found out because obviously Archeon's popping a bunch of uh, buffs to himself. But I wonder if like it shoots out like 200 fireballs if we were to choose fireballs because that'd be, that'd be really funny. So maybe the next battle we can try out, we can go ahead and have like 200, uh, 200 Belteshazzar girls and just see how that works. Like just see if you can actually shoot out like a million missiles from the magic. Because that'd be really, really awesome. And a few of you guys actually commented, oh my god, look how scary Archeon looks. Yeah, a few of you guys commented like how the last battle wasn't really very fair. Unfortunately, you can't get any of these legendary lords on mounts and have 200 of them. It'd be crazy cool if you could, like having like 200 Cole Franzes on Deathclaw just charging into battle. But unfortunately, the mod doesn't have that in quite yet. I'm, I mean, maybe if enough people play this and the model wants to add it in, he'll add in like the fact that you can actually have 200, 200 Cole Franzes on Deathclaw, which would be insane. And as well as that, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see like uh, like the legendary lords. So like say like 200 Sig Volts versus an entire Empire army. I probably wouldn't do a like 200 uh, Sig Volts versus like an entire zombie army or something like that. Because I feel like that's kind of lame and people have done that so much. Uh, but like I I'd be up for doing like 200 Sig Volts or 200 Archeons as they pop another magic ability. Like versus say like an entire Empire army or something like that. Like, just an entire army of swords, spears, great swords, cannons, just everything, just to see how they fare. Like, they'd probably lose at that battle because the great swords are super great. But I think it'd still be interesting to watch for sure. You can see as well, there's quite a few Sig Volts. This is such a sad sight seeing Sig Volt killed. RIP. RIP. And the flames of Archeon just slowly moving forward. They've definitely come forward from where they started in this engagement. 100% like they, they started like all the way back here and they're starting even to close off on this right flank as well You can see where they've cut down the sig volts and they're just pushing this right flank That's pretty brutal. Yeah, look how many sig volts are being cut down on this left flank And on the right flank as well. They're actually being sent flying back, but mainly on this left flank The Archeons are going in I guess once they start winning on one flank, you know, it's just they just have more attacks and it just kind of spirals and obviously the fact that they're using all their magic as well is definitely helping them out. So I guess the balance of power was not lying here. Let's go ahead and get some nice uh, proper zoomed in engagements right here. Yeah, it's not looking good for Sigvolt whatsoever. This left flank has pretty much been completely closed off now. Like, they're really starting to wrap around. Really, really starting to wrap around. Even something like gaps are starting to form up. Like, and look at the fire as well. They are just scorching this earth. The Archeons as they advance. Let's go ahead and look at the numbers now. How are we doing? How are we doing? So 120 Sigvolts versus 184 Archeons, wow, they, the Sigvolts have not really done much at all. I guess the magic is just really, really paying dividends for Archeon. I mean, maybe he is just a much, much better fighter to begin with. Because obviously he is the, the ultimate Chaos Lord, so... And there you go, the Sigvolts actually routed, wow. You coward, Sigvolt. I thought you were going to stand for a little bit longer at least. But yeah, Archeon has, has won the day. It was a decisive defeat. 
uh, unfortunately. And if we go ahead and end the battle, we can see the actual proper kills. So yeah, the, uh, Sigma only killed 21 men, which is a pretty big surprise. I mean, Archeon killed 96, so I guess shout out to Archeon for going in that battle. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and comment down below if you'd like to see more on this mod, and if you would, uh, what you'd like to see, if you want to see uh, Legendary Lords versus an entire army. Um, also make sure to go check out my Dwarven campaign. There'll be a link to that in the description, and obviously drop likes on both of the videos, because I'm uploading, I'm double uploading today, so make sure to go ahead and sh uh, show uh, the support by just liking both the videos. That would be absolutely awesome. Awesome. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and fish out.